Welcome to a second lesson in proportional reasoning. Previously, we had a video lesson on clay for an art project in which we were preserving the ratio of flour to water to make an equivalent mixture. We also talked about quantities, and these were attributes of an object or a situation that we can imagine measuring. The quantities in the situation that were being observed were covariant, which means that they were changing together. And we had also discussed three ways to reason proportionally. One way is the scaling way, which is when you scale one quantity by some factor, you must scale the other quantity by the same factor. The other way was a constant multiple. That was another perspective of reasoning proportionally, in which we had one quantity is always some number times as large as the other. And last, there was the third perspective of a proportion, reasoning proportionally, which is that the ratio of two quantities is always constant. And it's called the constant ratio perspective. So what we're going to do is take a look at another example. Let's look at image resizing. Can a 4 centimeter by 3 centimeter image be resized to a 6 centimeter by 4 centimeter image without distorting or altering the original image? So there you see an image of happiness. And what we want to do is to see if this is possible. And what we're going to do is to explore the three perspectives of proportionality. So let's begin. First we'll look at scaling. So what we're trying to figure out is when we're doing scaling, we're trying to figure out, okay, 4 times what is 6? And when we think about it, 4 times 1.5 is 6. So that means the scale factor, in order to keep the um, picture in proportion, would be 1.5. So what we do is we take and we look and we need to multiply 3 times 1.5 figure out what that would be. But when you take 3 times 1.5, that's 4.5, and that is not the same as 4. So it, based on this perspective, we cannot um, rescale, resize the image without distorting or altering it. Let's look at it another way. Let's look at it from the constant multiple perspective. So when doing that, we're trying to say 4 times what is 3? Well, 4 times 3 fourths is 3. So that means that if we want to take 6 times what is 4, we would have to use the same constant multiple, which in this case is 3 fourths. So you take 6 times 3 fourths, that's 18 fourths, which is clearly not 4. So that's not going to work either. Lastly, let's look at the constant ratio. So when we're looking at the constant ratio, what we're going to do is look at the height of the image and the width of the image. If you can resize the image, uh, without distorting it, that means that, that will remain a constant. So let's look. 3 over 4 is 0.75, but 4 over 6 is 0 0.6 repeating. These are not the same constant ratio. So again, um, you cannot just um, resize it without distorting or altering it. So no, because the quantities are not proportional. We use three different ways to test for proportionality, and the answer is no. So what, has, what ends up happening is that if you were to try to um, resize it, you would end up with the image being distorted like you see here. So what we're going to do is now take a look at another example of photo resizing. Here you see a college mascot collectible photo. And this is the Phoenix College mascot called Bumstead. And he comes as a 3-inch by 4-inch photo. And what we want to do is say Walrens is having a sale on prints made for the dimensions given in the table below. And we're looking at all these different as um, possible widths and heights of images. And the question is, which of the images below can the collectible photo be resized to without distortion? And what we're going to do is, again, explore the perspectives of proportionality to come up with a conclusion. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the scaling perspective of proportionality, starting with um, are 3 inch by 4 inch, and we want to see is how does that work? Can we scale? So let's start. We first want to figure out what 3 times what is 2. Well, 3 times 2 thirds is 2. So that will be the scale factor that needs to um, be used in order for the image to be scaled without distorting it. So we're going to take 4 times 2 thirds. 4 times 2 thirds is 8 thirds. 8 thirds is not the same as 3. So we cannot resize a 3 by 4 photo 
two by three, two by three photo. And now we're going to just do this again. We're going to see what does it take to take three. Three times what is four? Three times four thirds is four. So that's the scale factor. So the same scale factor should be used to um, make if the image is not to be distorted. So we're going to say four times four thirds and figure out what that is. So four times four thirds is sixteen thirds. Sixteen thirds, when you change it back to the next number, is five and a third. So actually, you can resize a photo to a four by five and a third um, size photo without um, distorting it. So what we're going to do is just highlight that in blue, saying that is one that works. And let's just continue on. We're going to now look at um, three times what? Well, that is the same number. We learned earlier that that three times four thirds is going to give us four. So what we're going to do is check to see if four times uh, four thirds is six. But from early, we know that four times four thirds is actually five and a third, so it's not going to work. Let's look at the next one. Three times what is five? Well, three times five thirds is five. So that's our scale factor for that um, set of dimensions. So we're going to take four times five thirds. Check to see what that is. Four times five thirds is twenty thirds. Twenty thirds is not the same as which is the same as six and two thirds which is not the same as 7. Now let's look at it again. We're going to say 3 times what is 6? 3 times 2 is 6. So that's going to be the scale factor we're using. So we're going to check to see if 4 times 2 is the number that's in the uh, table below. Well, 4 times 2 is 8, so that matches. So this means that a 3 by 4 photo can be scaled to a 6 by 8 photo without distorting the image. So again, we'll make that in blue because that one's working. We'll do the same test for and to see if a 3x4 photo can be um, resized to an 8x10 photo. So 3 times what is 8? 3 times 8 third is 8. So that's going to be our scale factor. So that means we're going to take 4 times 8 thirds, figure out what that is. 4 times 8 thirds is 32 thirds. 32 thirds is not 10 because actually it's 10 and 2 thirds. So again, that's not going to work. Let's look at our last one. Can a 3 by 4 photo be uh, resized to a 20 by 30 photo? So we're going to take 3 times what is 20. 3 times 20 thirds is 20. So that means we're going to take 4 times 20 thirds. 4 times 20 thirds is 80 thirds. And 80 thirds is 26 and 2 thirds. So the answer is no, we cannot rescale it to a 20 by 30 photo. So as we're looking at it, now let's take a look and see, based on the scaling perspective of proportionality, the photo can be resized to a 4 by 5 and 3rd inches or 6 by 8 inches without distortion. Now let's look at that constant multiple perspective. A constant multiple perspective proportionality means that we're going to take a look and see 3 times what is 4. Well, 3 times 4 thirds is 4. And so what we're going to do is to check to see what happens in each situation. So 2 times 4 thirds, well, that is 8 thirds. That's not 3. 4 times 4 thirds is 16 thirds. 16 thirds is 5 and a third. 4 times 4 thirds is 16 thirds, which is not 6. 5 times 4 thirds, that is 20 thirds, that is not 7. 6 times 4 thirds, that is 24 thirds, that is 8. 8 times 4 thirds, that's 32 thirds, that's not 10. And lastly, 20 times 4 thirds is 80 thirds, which is not 30. So we come up with the same conclusion using the constant multiple perspective of proportionality. And so, based on it, based on the constant multiple perspective proportionality, the photo can be resized to 4 by 5 and a third inches, or 6 by 8 inches, without distortion. A third perspective of proportionality is the constant ratio perspective. So we're going to take a look at that as well. We're going to see whether we have a constant ratio or not. So, for this to work, the ratio of the height of the image and the over the width of the image should be a constant. So looking at this, 4 thirds is 
1.3 repeating. And what we're going to do is test to see what the ratio is for each of these. So 3 over 2 is 1.5. 5 and a third over 4 is 1.3 repeating. 6 over 4 is 1.5. 7 over 5 is 1.4. 8 over 6 is 1.3 repeating. 10 over 8 is 1.25. And 30 over 20 is 1.5. So let's take a look. The ones that have the same uh, ratio of 4 to 3, which is the same as 1.3 repeating, is the 5 and 1 third over 4 and the 8 over 6. So those are in proportion. Those have the same constant ratio. All the others have a different ratio, which means that those are not proportional to a 4 over 3. So in conclusion, this means that based on the constant ratio perspective of proportionality, the photo can be resized to 4 by 5 and 1 third inches or 6 by 8 inches without distortion. So in conclusion, no matter which one, the question is which dimensions can the collectible photo be resized without distortion. It doesn't matter which of the three perspectives we take. The photo can be resized to 4 by 5 and a third inches or 6 by 8 inches without distortion. All three perspectives of proportionality came to the same conclusion. But it's good to be able to know how to do it any of those three ways. One of the things that's also interesting about this is when we look at it and you make a graph of the values in the table, if two quantities co-vary so that they remain in a proportional relationship, a plot relating each input quantity to its corresponding output quantity will be a straight line going through the origin. So what that means is that if I look at the plot corresponding to 3 by 4, which is 3 comma 4 here, and if I look at um, here, this is corresponding to 4 comma 5 and a third on the graph, and lastly, here we have 6 comma 8, which corresponds to the 6 by 8 dimension. If I draw a straight line through this, these quantities that are in proportion, the straight line should go through the origin of the graph. So let's take a look. And when you do it, look at that, it exactly happens. So that's something that's special about proportional quantities. You can draw a straight line through those corresponding points, and that straight line will go right through the origin. Let's think about some other things as well. So, so far what we have talked about in this lesson was being able to resize a photo and using proportionality to see um, in what uh, um, dimensions can you use without distorting the picture. In the previous lesson, we talked about preserving the ratio of flour to water so that the mixture stays the same. But there are other examples in which proportionality is used throughout life. For example, if you're making a recipe and you want it to keep the taste the same, uh, you want to keep um, the mixture in proportion. And if you want to make your favorite drink, similarly, even for it to taste the same, you'd want to keep the uh, components in proportion. But there are other examples as well. Proportionality is also used when you're trying to mix paint and to make sure that the paint stays the same color. Proportionality is also used in medicine so that you do not either overdose or underdose a patient. And it is also used in science such as physics. So these are some examples of where proportionality is used. And that does it for an introductory lesson to proportionality. I hope you found this helpful.